Hey, what is going on, good people? Welcome back to a little more quarry. Now, unfortunately, last episode we lost Caitlyn due to terrible aim. So, let's hope we don't lose anyone else. How did you do it? What happened? Yeah, let's let him tell the story. I'm sure he's still a bit so cagey. What exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people. And ah. Now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Yeah, ghosts and werewolves are Which a weird combo. Put together is Silas. Oh shit! It's a long story. No, it's not. So was Silas was the baby, Silas, yeah? the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family, you failed to stop him. Burn. <laughs> what happened in the past doesn't matter right now. I'm sure it uh, does. It kind of does, Completely. Actually, we need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who uh -oh. the last six years has avoided being found. But no tonight, we get him. Every full moon we were out there looking, every single one. Why'd he come back now tonight? The son of a bitch is finally here. Let's get hydrated. So I'm sure we're gonna start swerving soon. To end this thing for good. So okay. how do you even know where he is? Let's get ready. How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down uh -oh. the middle of the road? He doesn't look white just yet, or giant. Yeah, got it. They're asleep. Take wheel. Got to keep them safe. Travis! Travis, get it together! Come on! Oh, but we can't use the pedals like this. Oh, we got a mash. Ooh, I got, Nelly! I got it. Just get down. Isn't it just going to reach through and, like, slice his head off? Come on, this car looks flimsy. Down. Hey, nice. This is a bit like episode one. Go! Oh, yo. That won't stop him. Where did he go? Unless it's a silver car. He's got to be nearby. Path updated. Oh, don't get out. Let's look around. Are you crazy? That is pretty nuts. But what, this has to be Silas, the last remaining werewolf, yeah? Didn't seem giant or white. Are we there yet? Morning, fella. You're okay. We're so close. Better, Hang in there. But, yeah. So did he heal before he turned werewolf? You'd imagine he's cured because we killed Chris, Over right? Here. Got some blood. Excellent. Follow the trail. With the silver car. Leads through there. Okay. I really like that lighting what effect. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. Okay. Time for a walk. This is where we went off the road two months oh, ago. Oh, not yet. The exact same spot? You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. What? Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. No. What? Oh, what, like he set them up or something? No, man, don't do that. That old lady's gonna be fuming, like you had the no, chance no. to pull the trigger! The blood, cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. Okay. You ready to end this? Yep. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Yeah. So Ryan has no gun. And he's probably still quite fatigued from everything he's been through. But yeah, he's not walking around holding his lip, so he must have got a fair bit of healing in before he was cured. Excellent. Such a shame they didn't bite Dylan. 
Could he have regrown an arm? We'll never know. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast yeah. do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? So if they all seen the ghost? I thought she was... No, not many have actually seen her, but and everyone has heard her. She was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and Silas. over. Silas. Silas. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. Okay. It's Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. Eliza. And who was the dead person? You know, the bloated body in the lake. They never explained that, did they? You think? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Okay. Came here six years back. Oh, yo. She kept her son in a cage. That's awful. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Ah. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. Wonder who started the fire? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Aha. Uh -huh. How did the fire start? So this has all happened over the course of six years. Was really? it him? Still hiding stuff now? Was it him? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. Oh, yo. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. Oh, well, that's bad. What did she do? Well, she can't be that sweet, can she? Just... She was such a sweet, innocent girl. Yes. She just burnt down a circus and killed people. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. Ah, uh, okay. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. Is Crazy that, that he's whispering no. really adds to the tension. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Oh, you see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. Okay, I gotcha. Caleb got bit in the process. That sucks. Like, yes, you're free. Enjoy the freedom. Ow, why did you bite me? Could just kill Caleb. No, we have to kill Silas. But that is a bit rough, because Silas has clearly had a really shit life. Hmm. So this werewolf is Caleb, clearly. Because I did say he's not giant or white. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Yeah, he wants to save his brother. Never full moon for six fucking years. Damn. Twelve hunts a year. What? But why has he come back tonight? Is, it, is this like the sixth the anniversary of the fire or something? Jesus Christ. And six is a weird number to come yeah. back on. Any sign? Nope. Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. What is it? A cemetery? Bit hard to tell because it's so dark. Okay. Questions slowly getting answered, guys. <gasps> what? Chub scares why? Was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. That's rough. Cut that out, game. You cut that out this instant. I hate it when things scream into my ear holes. What is it? Silas the dog boy. Uh oh. Wasn't it a wolf boy? It. Careful. 
careful now. Okay, quite a slow start to the episode. Ten minutes, not bad. Easy now, Caleb. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, he's really wounded. Is that his bed? What's wrong? But this has nothing to do with Caleb, does it? Shoot your stupid girl! Yeah. But putting the light on him may change. We can at least have a look. Shoot. Will the ghost care? Path chosen! So that's not Kate. I suppose that does look a bit pale. Slightly, right at the end there. Please, let's just let's just go. Why has he got a smile? We have to see him like that. Did he trick us and we kill Caleb instead? Oh yo, he changed back already. What? Okay, I thought I'd take the cop's advice for once. We've uh, spent all game ignoring him, right? Is this... I bet you think you have it all. Was Silas her baby? I bet you think you're fucking clever. Uh-oh. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Oh, yo. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you She's getting hot like a kettle. Silas. We gotta keep her calm. I've been with you oh all shit. Night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. She is the Silas ghost. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. Shut up, ghost. I we got a card. Just now read it. I will never leave you. Damn. I'll never leave you. She probably is the most emotive character in the game, I'd say. She does seem to go through the full range of emotions. Okay. What? We're a raven? Okay. Right, had to turn that music off, unfortunately. Okay, so for some reason we're a crow or a raven. And the sun is dawning. Right, guys, we only lost Caitlin. Oh, and Jacob. I suppose uh, he just died rather than getting regularly bitten. Hey, wait, does that mean Nick's all right? Uh, Max alive. Having survived the night, Max was cured... Well, I didn't even press a button. Bobby alive, uninjured, able to fend off an attack from Chris in werewolf form. Nice. Uh, Jedi Jedediah. He survived. Nice. Chris, dead. His favourite counsellor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Constance Hackett, dead. Laura shot her face off in a struggle for the gun. Jacob, dead. Killed by Werewolf Nick after Ryan eventually abandoned him in the basement. Kaylee, dead. Was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Did we have a choice of that? Nick survived the night, and when Laura killed Silas, the curse was lifted. Hey, nice. Abigail alive, made it to the safety of the surveillance room. Good. Bilg, strange surname. Emma, yep, same gimmick. 
I think we did really well, guys. Dylan. Refuge from Caleb in the kitchen, but missing an arm. Caitlin, killed by Caleb when she failed to shoot him. I'm so sorry, Caitlin. Caleb returned to human form permanently when Silas was killed. Nice. Travis survived the encounter and finally saw an enter the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan alive. Cured of the infection when he shot Chris. Survived the showdown with the White Wolf. Laura alive. Killed Silas of a silver shell. Curing every infected person. Silas dead. Cyrus. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. Oh god, here come the cops. Just in case. You would imagine music will start fading now if police are arriving. Yo, special cars, that like FBI or something. We did it. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder. I wonder, can you let everyone survive? Potentially. Journalism, murder. I wonder, can everyone die? Unsolved murder. Yes, I, I Pure Hamlet style. Would say, but perhaps the journalist Bodies recovered in summer can murder mystery. Share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition. Great game, guys. Definitely recommend this if you fancy it. There. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to citizenship? Okay, more podcasts. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. New what was stuff? This, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Okay. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement mm. in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. Interesting ending. I wonder will they hint at the sequel? Okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm what? about to blow your mind. Oh, you shut up. Hat insurance? Yeah, yes. what's that all about? It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where what? your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. Okay. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. Shut up I about the hat. Say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. Come on, get to the meat of the matter, will you? Listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the okay. inside. So, today's episode is going to have. They're going to interview a crow? Show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on what? the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, this is well, an awful really Easter egg. Is, let's call it an anonymous donation. Money? You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent okay. us a pitch. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. What? Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay. You've Which is? you promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options. Right? Oh, are they going to sift through all the things we that? found? That, that is I awesome. Mean, know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence. I did say that. Okay. Let's go. Well... We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or Because it didn't say if anyone got arrested or anything, right? Okay, fine. Let's do this. For this could be really home, interesting, about actually. We're a package from a mysterious person who listens to the <laughs> show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. What? Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Yeah, because no one's going to believe werewolves, right? Do you have, like, a key I could, like slice at it with no i don't want you what? to dull my key just use your fingers but just give me your fucking key anton no give me your fucking nice key. swearing no. podcast amazing i like you lock your door 
Of course I lock my well, door. Well, don't tell your audience that. What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They uh, could walk through clever. my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Get on with it. Apparently, they found another body. Is that the one in the lake? You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't remember yeah. that, Anton. Fuck okay, that. fine. Yes, you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part no. of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Ah, I was drowned asking about that earlier. Or was drowned. Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Was that well, side the swarming up? No, where was hate water? What I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this. Info, Very suspicious. What do I have? Like a history of not verifying? Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I what? feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay. Oh, His well, leg was like tied to something of a chain suspects. underwater, okay. right? Okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? Okay. He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay. Oh, got yeah. yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there. But yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because Travis is it a is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. So maybe the hiker I, found I, out all in on the it. werewolf. The oh, the maybe he got family, bit, so they the just chucked him in the lake Gazette. and chained him, him so he died. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's the one hiker. He's dead. What about the other one? Anne Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies Ew. are still down there, though. <sighs> I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. Okay. I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a... Bit of an intense podcast fan. Like, I'll just send them a picture of a dead body. Words. Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved... The Didn't we find, like, 20 items? This could be Finally, quite a long outro. You're going to present me outro. with some ghost ectoplasm. Put Ew. out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Okay. Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being... I don't remember that. I remember we did stuff with, I think it was Emma's too. phone. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, oh are they the bags with okay. the... So you have a picture of bags. The pepper spray in anyone's it. bags. I got well, it. they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. Ooh, that's rough. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, what? okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, okay. so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way hey, back nice. when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag oh, on it just so like nice. the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found... Quartzite. Quartzite? Is that real? I was hoping you would ask. Doesn't but sound fact, real. Every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most yeah. of them are. But I digest. What? Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett. Ah, that was all the old pickaxe stuff the we found, seventh right? The son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they right. only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored it was quite a lot of land to walk Ooh, around i can't okay. lie a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this adele is sang wolf boy what paranormal territory okay here acres we go and acres of haunted woods right if you say so 
I do say so, and here's why. Apparently, when I went to snoop around in Northkill, that place I said... Ah, that's the motel out. they never made uh -huh. it to in episode they one. They someone who knows them, and they said the Hackett family are cursed. Oh, the they staff definitely at the were Harbinger cursed. Motel in Northkill, New York, said that something happened? Well, then it must be true. Yeah, it was crazy. I struck up a conversation, what? and I didn't even bring up supernatural or curses. They brought it up first. Have you considered... Yeah, that is just hearsay from the locals, though. You work in a haunted hotel. Even though it is true, be boring okay. about you know, as a journalist, hotel. you're right. You're can't right. put too much so salt in there. Since the quarry closed, they've been down on their luck. Hence, the scrapyard and the camp trying everything to make enough money to get by. Are they cursed okay. or are they just bad with money? <laughs> Good Maybe question. Both. They said there was so much outrage when all the quarrymen were let go that it left a lingering stench of negative vibes. Vibes? Ah, uh, yes, that famous unit of measurement. Yeah. Negative vibes. I mean, it's pouring off of you right now. Stop Anyways, that. That's just what I heard, so I felt as though I must mention it. You do you, buddy. Okay, okay, so this isn't quite related to all the items we picked up. Maybe there'll be something Are after the credits. Some real spooky shit. I'm ready for real Speaking speech, of credits, we've got a long one here, but I'm glad try. they've done something different with their credits. Down. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. What? Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please. Yes. Just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you to do anything. I want you to yep. say what you have. Turn them on bright. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? Ah, uh, and as the credits are rolling, Emma that means no more jump scares. Oh my God, is this real? Well, <laughs> okay, a photo is taken. What we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But huh? I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real. It was a really blurry, bad picture. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, bonafide. bonafide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah. Okay. But there's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Oh, yo. Whoa. Okay, what is that? It's her. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Oh, See? Full circle. God. Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. The hag. Please try to explain. I, I don't know what Luckily, that Ryan survived, so he can and listen to this stuff. episode. There's people. The, there's, His favorite Jesus podcast. Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, Jesus on toast. What? Practice, I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things. Okay. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks so did happen. No, picks. You can fabricate experiences you can. Makes sense that the I credits to, are long, though. I, I would need to see that. Must have taken a lot of work to make myself. this awesome game. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, North Kill. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Okay. Claw marks in a wall. I I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall. What? I'll take a fork and just go to town. Wow. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to Where was me, that? Down this the isn't prison. actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not you to You mean like a bear, person. not an angry Why? parrot? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to okay. talk about. Well, what? whoever did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even it wasn't. It's probably just we lived through fun of you. the damn tale. dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. What? Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Okay. Oh! Is that skin? Ew. Skin. Fur. Whatever you want to that call it. That must be real. the Emma picture. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really. Do the negative filter quick. Is it? 
Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You weird to flesh. The, I want to touch the flesh. Ew. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence. Not to okay. mention they might suspect that you, Is it Anton, a would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. What? Right. I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. You're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real. Occam's razor. But look at everything okay. we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Ah, so that's why it's important we were gathering know, stuff. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? Do you believe it? All of it. No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence. Yeah, that's were pretty there. Big This stuff. is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the Hackett's. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. Got Camp's gonna get closed down. Evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No. <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going. No. Here. It's getting juicy. Guess we have something real. We have actual people. Have Should we tell the cops? No, nah, let's chat more, mate. Crazy. Yeah, Grace, good idea. You did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No. Say actually more ass. What? Hiker remains recovered. Hackett family suspected. Oh, it was in the remains of the hiker, I get you. Not like it's been two weeks. He is still found. Okay. See you later, Crow. Okay. Is there a way to... No, that's it, I think. I wonder, shall we leave it till the end, guys? Yeah, I suppose I've got to do the sign out and stuff anyway. And what's that? We've probably seen a good five to ten minutes of credits anyway. So we must be fairly close to the end. But, yeah, guys, another adventure done. I've got to be honest, I thought we were going to get maybe two or three more episodes out of this. So a bit of a sudden end with the daybreak, but we did it. Um, I know there were quite a few deceased people for the credits, but I'm only really counting the main group, really. So, yeah, I had actually forgotten about Jacob momentarily. So we beat this game with only two members of our group dying. Not the results I wanted, but I still think we did very good, and I enjoyed this game hella. So yeah, if you do try it, see if you can... Yeah, see if you can do it with just one or zero people dying. That'd be pretty sweet. Let me know how you get on. Um, but yeah, guys, if it's the end of an adventure, then that means it's the start of begging season. So, of course, I'm on my knees in the pouring rain asking if you can leave a like, spare a share, bing that bell, and all of that helpful nonsense. It is insanely beneficial to the channel, and you know I love you forever. Um, after this, what are we going to be doing? I I think I may have, I don't know if I mentioned it in this game, but there was something recently, I think I may have been giving a few hints about what may be next. Um, I'll give you a clue, it's going to be a game I haven't played before, but it's going to be similar to sort of playthroughs or challenges we've done in the past. So yeah, have a think. Of course, guys, if you've got any recommendations for the Monday to Friday stuff, the full game playthroughs, or anything in general, give me a shout. We can always just do it for a one-off or whatever. 
to be our guys that's it for today so if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second then check some of them out but more importantly let me know what you thought because victory minus two people feedback is best feedback of course if you've missed any of the non um well, I suppose the last episode. So if you missed any of the previous episodes and catch up, but the main thing as always, guys, is I hope you're well. Thanks for watching and see you again soon for a brand new adventure.